we all have plans for our life. We have plans for our day. You have plans for your week, for your month, but we don't always know exactly what is going to happen. And so sometimes we make multiple plans, right? How do we talk about that in English? How do we talk about these plans in the future in English? Well, there's a really practical way to do this. We have this wonderful word in English called if. If. If is going to introduce a condition that might happen or it might not happen. Like this. If I get hungry. Hmm, if I get hungry. How could I complete that sentence? What would you do if you got hungry right now? You would probably get some food. So I will say, if I get hungry, I will get some food. If I get hungry, I will get some food. We notice the second part of that sentence uses a future tense. I will get some food. Well, let's try another one. If my friends invite me to the party, I will go to the party. So we've got two parts of the sentence. If my friends invite me, notice we're using a present tense here. My friends invite me. Okay, and the second part of the sentence, we'll use future, I will go. I will go to the party. If my friends invite me, I will go to the party. Now the fun part about English is that you can switch the order that you say this sentence. I will go to the party if my friends invite me. I will get food if I get hungry. Using these if statements with a future result is called the future real conditional. Now you may not need to memorize that name right now, but this is a useful tool to talk about plans for the future that will happen if something else does happen. Let me give you some if clauses and you pause the video and think about the future result. Number one, if the school accepts my application, if the school accepts my application, pause the video and think of a future result. Number two, if my basketball team wins the championship. If my basketball team wins the championship. Pause the video and think of a future result. Okay, now I want you to think of a conditional. I will give you a future statement, a future result, and you can think of a conditional statement to go along with it. I will go for a run. I will go for a run. Pause the video. What if statement needs to happen in order for you to go to, on a run? Number two, I will travel to Canada. I will travel to Canada. Pause the video. What if statement would cause you to travel to Canada? Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Oh, good, good. I was just calling because I, I didn't know if you knew that uh, it's a possibility that LIT might be closed next week because there's, there's going to be construction on our street that where the school is located. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, if the school closes, Jeremy, what will you do next week? If the school closes next week, I'll suggest to uh, the superintendent that we do online classes like through Zoom or something like that. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what I will do if the school closes next week. If the school closes next week, I will give my students a lot of homework and just uh, maybe give them the week off. You know what? That's probably a good idea too. That might make it easier. If the school closes next week, I'll probably maybe, maybe consider doing that too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm. what, what will you do if the school is open next week? Oh. If the school is open next week, I'll be really relieved. I'll be happy because you know my life will be uh, normal. All the students can come back to the classroom if the school is open next week. Hey, you know, do you also hear that the books for our classes are coming in the mail, but they may be delayed? What will you do if 
the books don't come in the mail on time. Hmm? If the books don't come in the mail on time, I will give my students some extra time to do their homework. Wow, you've thought about this. You have a very clear plan. <laughs> if the books uh, don't come next week, I, uh, I hate it, but I'll probably have to come up with my own lesson from thin air, from my own imagination, from scratch. That's well, true. But I like your idea better. If, you, you know, if the books don't come next week, you're going to give them extra homework. Man, if I give them extra homework, I just know it. They're going to complain. But, you know, if I give them extra homework, they'll probably you know, have all that they will need. The, the students will complain if we give them extra homework. If the school has a costume party for Halloween, what will you dress up as? Well, I've already thought about it, yes. So uh, if the uh, school has a costume party um, uh, for Halloween, I'm going to dress up as a banana. That's my, uh, that's my favorite. I love it when people dress up as food because that's hilarious. You're going to dress up as a banana? Yeah. That's very fun. Now, I, I, I'm guessing from your question that it's a possibility that we might not have uh, the dress up time at LIT. Yes, if we don't have a Halloween party, we will have regular classes. But if we do have a Halloween party, I'm going to dress as a ghost. Oh, fun. Yes. That's fun, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, whether or not there's a Halloween party, either way, you should dress up as a ghost, yeah? I hope this short video has helped you understand how you can talk about or write about future plans based on other conditions. Please share your thoughts, share your sentences that you came up with in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit like and also subscribe in um, the little bell down there so you can get updated when we, when we have new videos. Also, if you're interested in coming to the United States and studying English, uh, please consider the Learning Institute of Texas in Houston. And don't forget to check out our website below.